So now we're moving on to the cycloid, the final loci. Now, a cycloid, you have to imagine as if you have a wheel, this being the wheel. You'd have it marked on one part, and you imagine this wheel is gonna shift 360 degrees. One revolution, one revolution is 360 degrees. And you're gonna see the trail that this little mark leaves behind it. So, first thing to do, we split the circle into 12 parts. Remember, horizontal, vertical, and 30 and 60. There. Now, number one either begins from here or here. Con well, to be fair, it can be started from anywhere, number one, and then you continue from where you have. Let's say in this case, one is from here. And I'm going to make a clockwise cycloid was I can also have an anti-clockwise cycloid so if it's clockwise one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay. now I extend a line from each of my points doesn't matter how much you extend them, just make them a bit long. There. Now, I'm gonna take with my compass the space between either one and two, three and four, five and six, they're all the same. I'm gonna take one of those spaces. And from the center, I'm gonna mark out 12 spaces. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I'm gonna number them. Take note that instead instead of starting from zero, I start from one. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and since it's one full revolution, if we start with one, we end with one. Then we're gonna take the radius of the circle, the radius. Okay, now, one is already completed for us because we marked out the one at the center and one is at the bottom here. Now, we place our compass on point two and we're going to mark out an arc on the line protruding from two. And if number two is directed in this way, in the direction of the left, I'm going to mark my arc on the left, not on the right. 3 on the line of 3 and it is directed to the left arc to the left 4 since it's to the left 
to the left, five, six, seven here we mark up because it's up. Eight is on the right side, so I mark it on the right side. So it's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and started with one, we end with one. There. Now, the only thing left to do, the only thing left to do is through freehand method, we join them together. Remember, make it bold, but first, when you're lining them up, it's okay to make them faint just in case you make a mistake. There. And there we have the cycloid. Now, if say I had a circle, one started from here and it were anti clockwise, the shape would come out like this. <laughs> 